Buhari delivers powerful speech at D8 summit in Turkey. President Muhammadu Buhari on Friday, October 20, in Istanbul urged D8 leaders to prioritize incentives and measures aimed at increasing trade and investments among member countries. Speaking at the 9th summit of the D8, President Buhari said the private sector and business communities in the economic organization must be assisted with incentives to widen economic cooperation among member states. He said, as the D8, we need to intensify our activities with a view to enhancing various measures and incentives introduced to promote trade and assist the business communities from member states to invest in our countries and widen our cooperation. We need to work hard to establish integrated manufacturing structures and markets. I would like to reiterate the importance of increasing trade and investment among our member states. Apostrophe. According to a statement obtained, the president reiterated Nigeria's commitment to international trade and development even as he affirmed the country's readiness to host the meeting of D8 ministers of industry from November 14 to 17 in Abuja. Highlighting the attractive business and investment opportunities in the country, Buhari stressed the need for prospective investors to take advantage of the federal government's new policies on trade facilitation. He said, Nigeria is committed to, and is actively pursuing a policy of trade and investment facilitation for growth. The gains from trade are reflected in greater competitiveness, improved productivity, job creation, consumer welfare and prosperity. Economies that grow fastest and at more sustainable rates are those that actively promote trade and attract investment. We are committed to creating an enabling environment and making Nigeria an attractive place for business and investment. The president also urged D8 member countries to support the efforts of the African Union o, to establish the first ever single market for trade in goods and services on the continent. He described the OBACT Continental Free Trade Area for Africa as a win-win for all, including member countries of the D8. He added, I am pleased to inform you of positive market developments currently in Africa, that will support our efforts as members of the D8 to enlarge our markets, facilitate our trade and investments, and develop our economies. In Africa, we are on the threshold of finalizing negotiations to establish the first ever single market for trade in goods and services on our continent, in the continental free trade area for Africa. This will be a win-win for all, including member countries of the D8. As partners, I urge that we work together to support this effort of the African Union that will have a positive effect on global economic development and integration. He assured D8 leaders that Nigeria would continue to support the Secretariat in its assignments to achieve the visions and objectives of the organization. The president during his working visit paid a visit to the mausoleum of Turkey's founding father, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, on Thursday, October 19.